hey guys welcome back to my channel this is probably not the video you're expecting but today I am gonna walk around because I gotta do a lot and I want to show you guys what I'm gonna be taking care of not today but we're gonna start this tomorrow I feel like in order to start what I need to do, I need to fully grasp exactly what I'm going to do in order to get it done. Because it's going to be a pain in my neck to do part of it. Okay. Let me get into this. So, one of the things I definitely have to do is clean up my garden space that's number one okay this cabbage I got a harvest the garlic I may have to harvest what I'm gonna do is pull one and see what it looks like and then probably pull the rest because you can see what this is looking like right now you know it's all fall down it's like dying back it, I'm gonna have to harvest my garlic okay and this is gonna take a few days I got a lot of um, I got some zucchini in between here that I need to pull out. Um, cucumbers, there's a lot of flowers, so I know I'm gonna have a lot of cucumbers, but I don't have any yet. And then I wanna tuck maybe some seeds or some more peppers or stuff in between spaces that are actually open. Like over here, I harvest garlic, so I want maybe wanna put something else in here. Over here, yeah, I'm going to harvest some stuff over here too, maybe. I'm not quite sure about there. Of course, the sweet potatoes are starting to run. And this is going to get crazy, probably pretty fast. The potatoes, uh, I I'm, I'm, I'm think I'm going to leave the potatoes for a day on its own to harvest if I need to. I'm going to probably have to check that out pretty good. Over here tomato i gotta try to get this maybe trellised or something so it doesn't just take over here i'm not sure about this yet maybe i could clip it we'll see how this goes you know sometimes you're in the garden and you just don't know where to start yeah i think these are one of these times that i don't know where to start with some things um but i'm gonna have to start i also look at that so many blueberries looking really good now over here is where I had some vegetables um, pak choy and that went to seed what's going on in this corner here is I had um, pak choy and I had carrots so here but one it's not getting enough sunlight two it's not getting enough water because sometimes I don't come out here and water it every day. And the irrigation literally stops over in this bed here. There's nothing really over this side. And I needed to run irrigation and I didn't. So it's kind of expected. You know, there's some spots that I really do need to run irrigation. To actually um, get successful in planting anything. You know, because some spots like over here gets, it's really, really, like right here, it's really, really dry. Really dry. Okay, over here is where I consider my shade because <laughs> it's right next to the greenhouse and the plants over here is doing amazing. You know, there's another thing that I may have to do. I'm going to have to do a garden tour. I haven't done one in a in couple of weeks or so. And there's a lot of things that are doing pretty good that I really do need to, you know, give them some spotlight. Some things are doing really good. The hookeras especially, I love how these hookeras just come up and looking beautiful in this space. It actually makes this space look really nice. Once again, over here is where the rabbits came and they ate everything. And they keep coming back and they're, they're finishing it. You know, I never cut it, I never pull it out or anything, but the rabbits are just coming back and they're finishing it. It seems like that's their meal. And, you know, and as long as they're they're just eating that only and they're not eating anything else I left it alone you can see all the footprints in my garden space you know but 
I'm going to have to pull it out to get other stuff planted here, you know. So, I don't know what else they're going to eat next, but they're around. They're around. My kale, the cab purple cabbage is forming up pretty good. They're looking good. Like, everything in this space is looking good, okay? Everything is looking good, but I do have to clean up some of these areas. The four pots that I have planted... They're looking pretty good as well. I have to fertilize them, but they're doing really good. You know, the funny thing is about when you're gardening, whenever the garden gets like really lush and full, sometimes you want to say, okay, I want to cut back and make it look nice and neat. <laughs> because like when it's full, y'all, it starts to look a little crazy. It looks a little messy. You know what I mean? So, it's like, <laughs> anyway, we're glad that it's it has so much food in it, you know what I mean? We're happy for the food. That's, that's the main thing right there, so. But as you can see, when you look from this direction, everything just looks nice, neat, beautiful, full. I really do love the garden space a lot, a lot. Even my flower garden spaces looks really nice and neat. But there's one thing that is really bothering me that I have to, have to change. And that's the part that I'm dreading. But I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. Let's turn the camera around here so I can show you inside of my greenhouse. So this is inside the greenhouse. It is still nice, clean, and neat. But there is some peppers like right here. These are the peppers that I'm going to have to transplant outside. As you can see, they're growing. They're looking beautiful. They're getting good water, the heat. And something is telling me to keep it in here and something that's telling me to take it outside, you know, because it's doing really, really good in the greenhouse right now. Like everything is flourishing in here because you get heat, sunlight, but it's protected from anything else. So everything is like looking beautiful. However, as you can see in this pot, you, it, they're all hot peppers, I believe. But there's too many in here. So maybe I could take some out and maybe leave one or two in here. That is going to flourish. Okay. But that I just like this is this is this is what I hoped everything would look like. You know nice clean. and But that don't happen. That don't never happen. Okay. So now we're out. We're on the side of the greenhouse. So in this area. what my plans are you know what let me go over on the other side and then i can show you this so better understand so this is the south side of my garden space looking beautiful the one thing i hoped that would always happen it was that it would look nice and thick and lush and basically i got my wish nice and thick and lush with all plants all different plants hydrangeas the the um, speed wheels, the um, the annuals, the, the, the trees. Like, it just looks really nice and full. See that? It looks really nice. And that's why I said I need to do a garden tour. Because, you know, things are looking really pretty. Now, here is the problem. Here is the problem. If you look down closely... There's so much weeds and I have to spray to kill some of them. And I mean, it's dying back some, but I still got to go in there and pull it out. That's the part that I'm dreading. There's a lot of weeds and I have to clean out the bed. So the plan is when I clean out the beds, well, starting tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean out the beds and then do a tour of each spot. And that, that is going to break it down for me so I can actually go through all the plants that I have in here and we'll be able to tell, like individualize them. Like this is this, this is that, you know, instead of just, I would, I, I'm, I'm going to be able to go through every plant that is in this area. So that's, that's my start tomorrow. I'm going to clean up the weeds first. And then give you a tour of the area. So when I give you the tour, the area is going to look much cleaner. If I need to deadhead, I'm going to deadhead. You know what I mean? 
So while the cleanup is happening, you'll get a tour of the spot. When you come over here, these are the blue muffins. And y'all, the blue muffins are growing. It's going to look so pretty. Now these are going to get, I think, about, what is it, four foot wide. Yeah, I think these blue muffin five burners are going to get like four foot wide. And it's going to fill in this area. Another thing is, behind the blue muffin is where I have the grapes. Never expected the grapes to do this. I know things run. I know, I know what happens. But even on top of my patio, like, I don't know if I was just expecting it to stay below here. But y'all, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So, it it does have a lot of grapes on it. Like, it is loaded. Okay? And another thing is, it's running in the Blue Muffin Vibarnums. See? It's running in here. It is running all up and through. So, here is what the plan is. So, I... I, I have decided that once it's finished producing all its grapes and stuff like that, now the vine is getting a little bit too wild and it's kind of a little difficult to control it because every time I try to tuck it in like below, next day or two I come back and it's, it's, it's up again. So, and I don't want to clip it back. I want to allow it to grow and produce. And once it's finished producing and done, for the season I can clip it back and I'm gonna remove it because it's just two pots somewhere behind here there's two pots behind there you can barely see them because the leaves are covering them but I'm gonna take those two pots out now the bottom of the pots is open so I know the root went down to the ground but I'm gonna dig them out nicely and that we're gonna do this during the fall and remove it and then I'm gonna put it over here now over here it gets a little bit wet but I'm not gonna put it down as deep so it can you know get to whatever little swamp is circling around here I'm gonna put it you know plant it and see if I can lift up the root ball some but my plan is to like maybe put two poles or whatever with strings and let it run and because it latch on to things maybe it will latch on to my greenhouse and kind of like be a cover for this here because remember during the winter and um, during the winter and fall and spring well all season long we get heavy rains and heavy wind so maybe I'm thinking if if the vine um grows on top of the greenhouse one you're still gonna get sunlight the heat is still gonna be in there you know it's gonna shade it a little bit but not too much and i could still clip and clip and clip it back you know but i want the vine to grow all up on the greenhouse to protect the roof from the winds because we get such heavy winds and it takes the greenhouse top, maybe if the vine is up there, it's going to be a little bit more harder for the wind to take the top, you know. So that's what I'm thinking. Now, this is not going to happen overnight. It's not going to just grow. And I, basically, when I transplant it, I got to wait until next year for it to actually grow on top of um, the greenhouse because it's going to take... You, during the spring you're gonna get your blossom and stuff and that's where you get your grapes and stuff like that so it's gonna take a little while to grow on top there but at least you know I want it to grow on top there and see what happens you know I don't want it to look messy from a distance like it's just a big green monster just sitting in the back here <laughs> but I, I want to give it a try and see what happens and it's grapevines I could move it you know, just like I can move it from, just like I can move it from, um, oh, sorry about that. Just like I can move it from this area and put it over there, I could shift it around, you know. It's going to be a little tough to move all these vines though because, yeah, 
again I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna have to cut it to move the vines but I'm gonna move it once it stops producing so that probably early fall or something like that because these grapes maybe yeah during the fall and stuff this is gonna be ready a lot of grapes y'all I'm so excited like excited because I'm excited because I buy a lot of grapes and I'm excited that I won't have to buy a lot of grapes especially during the fall you know so yeah anyway that's gonna be it for that now shifting over here when I created this bed or when my husband and I created this bed, we didn't expect this coming back up. In fact, we forgot that these, what do you call them? Lilies? What do you call them? I forgot what you call these. But as you can see, they're opening up. They're coming up and opening up. I forgot what you call them. Look some of the blooms. Look at some of the blooms, y'all. This used to be in the front yard. It used to be in the front yard. See, the blooms are opening. So I know I'm going to get a lot of blooms. And this is going to get really big and tall. I've, I transplanted it over here. I forgot I transplanted it over here. And it's coming back up. And it looks so beautiful right now. And we created this space and kind of lock it out. So this is the plan in this corner. And all this... I'm starting a lot of stuff tomorrow, but I realize this is going to take, it's going to, it's be, a, it's going to be a project that's going to take me a couple of days to get done or a couple of weeks to get done <laughs> because pulling weeds is not fun. Look how like the grass just grew and it went straight into this bed. So it's kind of like taking over the mulch. So I'm trying to come out the sun. So, what the plan is, I'm going to, we're going to bring this bed out a little bit more. We're going to get some more of the bricks, line it up, bring it up a little bit more, straight out, get the cardboard, put it down. I already have mulch and stuff that I'm storing, um, that I have storing under my, st okay, y'all, my phone just cut out. I don't know why. I don't know if you guys could hear me. But the plan is to really bring this bed out. And bring it straight across here. And kind of like angle it. Put it back in it. We're basically we're just coming out wide and stretched out a little bit longer. Just to um, take this inside there. Okay. Now, in this space, I just wanted to do, like, evergreens. And when I saw this, I'm like, oh, this is going to look so good in this corner. Because when it gets big, it starts to bloom and it looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, I want to incorporate it back in this space. I'm still going to um, put my evergreens. Now, the reason I wanted to just put evergreen is, like, I just wanted a different, like, a bunch of... Um, evergreens and conifers and stuff like right here and kind of stretched out you know little by little we adjust and make this bed longer and longer you know um and that was the plan for that but when i saw this come up i was like oh this this plant always looks so beautiful so so beautiful and it gives the bed just a little bit of color you know just a pop of color so i kind of like it so and and maybe in the future if I wanted to move it, I can still move it and do something with that, okay? But for right now, what we're going to do is just adjust the bed and make it a little longer and more prettier. And that's that's going to be it for that. And did I mention over there? So, putting the grapes over in this corner here, I would move some of these flowers. Now, I do want to move quite a few of them. I literally, I'm going to move all this here and get rid of those. Because I'm not a fan of it anymore. I don't like how it looks. It's, it looks scanty, skimpy. It, it doesn't look nice and full. The, the knockout, the pink knockout roses that is there. Um, There's two things. I ain't going to move them 
completely and get rid of them or I'm gonna cut them all the way back and let it come back nice and flush because I do love the rose but right now it looks um, doesn't look the way I expected it to or not expected it to and it doesn't look lush and full like it really did need it to be cut back a lot and I didn't cut it during the spring so it just did its thing you know it grew out and did what it needed to do to produce the blooms and stuff like that but um yeah I really do want to cut it I really do so and I know I can't cut it right now because it's getting really hot so I'm gonna leave it alone and that's gonna be a project for the fall just like moving the grape the grapevines you see guys gardening is never finished never even over here I gotta move some of these plants because um, the ajuga spread it's so thick y'all it's so thick around here and it's starting to come down through the rocks so what I'm gonna do is just take pieces out of it and uh, just kind of re-ramp this bed because I know during for spring next year it's gonna spread it's gonna spread again so I'm gonna just and this is how you get extra ground cover y'all this is how you get extra ground cover so I'm gonna take quite a piece few pieces out of here and put it elsewhere in a space that I needed to put ground cover I'm gonna put it because I know it's gonna spread it's gonna look beautiful and maybe I'll put this in my front yard as well because I love to see a juga. That little purple flower, y'all, is so beautiful. And again, I do have to do uh, a garden tour. Because, ooh, look at this hydrangea, how it just spread. You know? Some of these hydrangeas and stuff is going to look so pretty. Especially when they start blooming. The blooms for this normally falls. Because this is one of the old hydrangeas. This is one of the, um, what is it? Um... Uh, I gotta look this one up. I can't remember what kind of hydrangea, but I had it for a very long time. And these are one of the hydrangeas that get the really big white blooms and they flop over. So, yeah. But I can't wait. I'm I'm excited to clean up. I'm excited to do a garden tour. And this is this is for the front yard too, y'all. Like even the front yard like needs to clean up because things are looking things are not looking the way it should look like okay let me take that back it's looking the way it should look because it's nice and bloom and it looks beautiful things that i didn't expect it in the garden space is just happening and it's just so so beautiful because i love it but the weeds are also taking over and that's the part that i don't love i need to get rid of a lot of the weeds okay a lot of the weeds the weeds are the problem my flower pots like all these guys are just doing beautiful just ignore the hose I got the hose rolled out I didn't reel it back in because it was so hot I just needed to put water on everything you know and today is Sunday I'm going to be going to church pretty soon I got to go in and get ready pretty soon so um and it's early in the morning so you can hear the birds and everything you know so I, I won't be getting to do anything really today. That's why I'm making this video to have a complete plan. Have a plan of what I'm going to do, how I'm going to start, you know. And if I feel like if I have that plan, everything is going to go well. This plant, I got to take it out this pot as well because this keeps getting big and bigger. I can't remember the name, but it keeps getting big and bigger. I'm going to see if I find the name. And I got to take it out of that pot because I don't want it. This is a ceramic pot. I don't want it to break my pot. I'm going to put that in the ground because it's a perennial. Probably put it somewhere in this bed. Let it occupy space over here. Maybe I could start pulling out some of the roses that I don't want anymore. And tuck this in somewhere over there. That is going to get nice sunlight and... But the space for my grapes, y'all. The space for my grapes. I need the space for my grapes. Yeah. But anyway. Anyway, y'all. This is the view. I haven't gone to the front yard because the sun is in full blast. Full effect. It's going to be really, really hot today. I think today is going to be like um, 
I think 90. Yeah. 90 with no breeze blowing is way, way too hot. Way too hot. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was just a basically a, a clip, a overview of what I'm going to be doing in the coming weeks. Um, so when you see me working on it, like, don't say she is every day she's pulling weeds you know every day we're gonna basically pull weeds and do a tour of the space and in between i'm gonna stop to do like my harvest and plant planting and stuff but most of my videos i'm gonna be um i'm gonna be doing tour of the spot and pulling weeds okay i'm gonna try my hardest not to make some of the videos way too long because weeds could be t pulling weeds could be time consuming so i'll probably speed that up but then slow it down when we're doing the tour of the area because y'all things are looking beautiful it looks beautiful and i i do want to show you guys that you know all the hard work does pay off you know in more ways than one so i want to show you guys that so that's what i'm gonna be doing but again i'm probably gonna start with like my harvest and putting seeds down and stuff like that because i need to get some flower seeds in the ground i don't i'm not even sure how late i am with these flower seeds but we're gonna look at the pack and see you know if it's a 90 day a 120 day what what the deal is <laughs> because I'm hoping it's just like a 45 and 60 days, you know, so that in a month or two, you'll actually get blooms on flowers and stuff like that. But I am going to be putting some seeds down. We'll see. We'll see. We got to read the packs and see what's going on. And again, if I take my, if I um, harvest my garlic, then I'm going to have to find something to put in this space. You know, the onions are coming up pretty good too. Like, I looked at it yesterday, and I can see, like, the onions just popping up right there. So, I know the onions are doing really good, too. But this cabbage definitely got to come out. And again, you know. Yeah, so we're going to do some slow cleanup and slow planting and slow <laughs> cleanup again. And, <laughs> and slow everything, you know. There's a lot of a lot of work ahead of me that I have to take care of. But I'm going to get it done, y'all. I'm going to get it done. Some I'm going to probably do on camera. Some I'm going to do off camera. Because you don't want to see every day, you know, pulling weeds and cutbacks and stuff like that, you know. Maybe when I clean up a space, I can just show you guys, you know, areas that I clean up off camera and stuff like that. You know. Anyway. Anyway. I keep saying anyway. Because I need to go get ready for church. So... You guys have an amazing Sunday. It's a beautiful day out here. Perfect for making videos right now. You know, a little later, it's going to be way too hot. So, enjoy this day with all your might, all that you can. You guys, again, have a good one. I hope you get a chance to do something amazing, something beautiful. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye for now.